Yes, yes, I'm Jack Downer, AK Street Planner. I'm super excited to be a part of the Unisport team. What am I teaching you first? Today, we're getting into free skills to nutmeg your friends every time. Why? Because they even work on the cross. That's what the three skills look like. By the end of this video, you'll have learned them all. So the first skill is the M10 panel. We're gonna break this skill down into three easy steps. First step is gonna be called the side stop. With your strong foot, I'm right footed. We're gonna put it across the front of our body and onto the ball like so. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the ball from our sole of our foot to the back of our toe, just like so. And it's a two touch motion. And we're gonna do this across the front of our weak foot. So I'm right footed, I'm doing it on my left hand side. Now, for the second touch, we're gonna to release the ball forwards. When we're in this position, it makes us want to release the ball forwards. So we're gonna release it forward, and then we're gonna hit the second touch. As we release the ball forwards, we're actually gonna let the ball go through our own leg. The key to get this right is to do the roll very slowly, so the ball passes through your legs. The second touch is then going to be of your weak foot. After the ball passes through our legs, we're gonna point our foot down and hit it with the tip of our laces directly forwards. So step one and two together looks like this. The third and final touch is then going to be of your strong foot again, as you knock it with the outside of your foot, changing the direction of the ball. So all together, the move will look like this. Once you've got the motion down, it will now be time to try it against an opponent. And this is when we're gonna nut them. The way this works is that the side stop roll is very slow. And this causes the opponent to think that they can tackle you and take the ball. As they reach, we're gonna be ready to touch the ball around their foot and through the legs in the gap that they've created by trying to tackle you. It will take some repetitions to make sure you get this down. However, I can assure you, you can nutmeg practically anyone with this trick. So to hit this panel, make sure you do the side stop, the roll slowly, and be ready for them to lunge. We're gonna preempt their tackle, hit the ball around their foot, and with the final and third touch through their legs, getting that panel. The second panel is the side stop back heel. Now we're onto the second trick, the side stop back heel. With the M10, we were facing our opponent. However, now we're gonna be side onto them. You're gonna start with your strong foot on the ball and you're gonna have your weak shoulder towards the defender. And now we're gonna roll the ball backwards towards ourselves on the outside of our body. And as we do this, we're gonna do a side stop, but with our weak foot. With the opponent on our weak side, we're then gonna roll the ball forwards from the side stop. And with the second touch, we're gonna back heel it with our strong foot through their legs. The reason this move will work is because as you're shielding the ball, it's very difficult for the opponent to see it. They're then going to step with you as you move forward on the side stop, and then you can hit the back heel as they step, and this will execute the hand. Now the third and final way to panel your opponent is the ball stand panel. This one's iconic. We've broken this down into two simple steps so you can master it. Step one is to get used to standing on the ball. How I'd recommend doing this is planting your strong foot in the center of the ball and lightly hopping your weak foot off the ground, getting used to planting your weight through the ball. When you're comfortable with this, I recommend getting towards a side or a goalpost or a fence or even a friend who you can stand on and lean on. And now we're gonna try and put both feet on the ball. In doing so, we're gonna hop up, the ball will rotate and we'll end with having our two feet on either side of the center of the ball, like so. Now it's just about practicing and mastering the balance. Ideally, as the ball moves to the right, we will adjust. And as it goes to the left, we will adjust. And we should be able to stay on it for quite a while. However, for this panel, we only need to be on it for about a second or so. So when you can do that, step two. So for step two, it's an incredibly important move. It is the scoop, otherwise known on the streets as the sleep. The aim of this move is that once we've been standing on the ball, the opponent is gonna wanna tackle us. They're gonna to wanna to kick the ball away, and in doing so, they're leaving a the gap to get nutmegged. However, we're ready for this. So just before it looks like they're about to tackle, we're gonna jump back down, plant our weak foot, and scoop around with the inside of our foot through the opponent's legs. The scoop does take some practice. However, just make sure that you go outside around their tackle first, and then back in through their legs. And also, do not be scared to put your whole foot through their legs. 
this is a good way to guarantee the panel. So that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure being your host. I'm Jack Downer, aka Street Panner. All my socials are in the description if you want to check it out. However, more importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more, and of course, get practicing those skills. <laughs>